Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I have a silicone dish full of paint. And I am teaching myself today how to make fugly critters. <laughs> or whatever you want to call them. And I have been craving a pink dragon. And as long as I can find that neon pink, I should be styling. There we go. Maybe a little red. We'll see what happens. I have been spooning them on and letting them happen with um, an open cup, but everything's possible. There's my spoon. I probably should have rinsed that off. Pretty iridescent colors, though. Move that out of the way for the moment and grab some white. I don't usually, I really don't very often use white as a background color, but I feel that this is appropriate right now. Now with the first dragon I did, I found out that a little goes a long way and my paint spread out on my background layer. So I'm going to attempt to use less. Good luck with that, Priscilla. Yes, she started talking to herself. <laughs> it's after five. Let that innuendo lead you where you may. I am not a representative or spokesperson for Mike's Black Cherry Lemonade, but darn. <laughs> I would be if I could be. All right. So that is so much paint that if I really wanted to get it to come off of there, is that a bubble? Yeah, it was just a bubble. I could scrape some off, but I don't think I really need to do that. I am, however, going to do something I've wanted to do for a while. That looks like a gouge. I don't like that gouge. And I'm very covered with paint. Most paint, when it's this heavy, will settle down, especially because of the Floetrol in it. Floetrol is, is a leveler. I know they just changed their recipe. I haven't figured out what exactly the change is, but it still seems to be working for me, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, I'm looking at this and I'm going, give yourself a little turquoise. And maybe, just maybe, did I clean the tip out on my enamel? No, I did not. Darn. So, I'm just going to use some black and squeeze it in there. From up high. Looks more like a black than a pink, but okay. So that's sort of a high up ribbon dribble ring. So I'm going to treat it like that. Let's see how well my, how good my manipulation skills are. I see that I have an awful lot of bubbles in there. So I am going to go ahead and pop those puppies. Probably from dropping it from so hot, such a height. And I am going to take my spoon, because I already tried the height trick, and that didn't work very well. We have no idea how this is going to turn out. But I would like to see some of the colors I put in there. Whoa, almost dumped my cup. Let's mix them up. That's pretty dark. I am so tempted use my spatula to experiment. I need some weight in there. Now. And go back to dribbling. Mm. 
no idea what this what this is gonna be. It's got some character so far. I'm gonna grab my skewer and use the dull end. It's got no neck, that's what it's got. It's a moose dragon cross. It's got a moose face. This one might take some work to make me happy because it's not making me happy yet. But I got I had success earlier, so I shouldn't complain. And I do get to experiment, which I like doing. I'm wiping my blade off on my Lolify silicone mat. It's definitely looking, still looking like a moose dragon. I'm going to take some of this white paint, put it right in there. I wanted to experiment with doing this for a while. It's a creepy critter, <laughs> for sure. It needs a hind leg, I think. And maybe even a paw. No idea what I'm doing. I'm hoping I can fill in though. Okay, toes are going to be spirals. I don't know how else to do it. But that's kind of cool anyway. Just using the flat end and twisting around. Let's give me some more white in there. Squish it right in. So it fills the gaps. Not sure this is what I'd call successful so far, but that's okay. Got to learn the hard way sometimes. Give him a little black dot for an eye. Get rid of that white thing underneath. Take most of that paint off. He's a goofy looker. He's a cartoon dragon at best. He's got a nostril. Definitely not a dragon you want to mess around with. Maybe even a dragon only a mother could love. It's got a great face though. I think it's going to get some more black in it.
Now I need white again. Darn. You know what? I've got plenty of white hanging around. Just give him a spiral eye. Now he's got a freaky eye. This is taking longer than the last ones did. But it's also kind of cool. And I really didn't expect to use the spatula to remove the paint. I still want to remove that paint. I wish I could give him a neck. He's um he's not really pretty. Let's give him another paw. A couple more in fact. different color dye. That's who weird is still. Stranger and stranger we get. One big nostril made him really cute. Cool. Not sure anything with a red glowing eye is cute though. Still get that white down there. This might not be my favorite of the day, but it's still kind of cool. There we go. Now he's got a real eye. And if I put a little dot of white in there, going to look like he's looking at you. It's a creepy, creepy cool thing. So I'm going to pull that forward and spin it around. I still want some more of that paint in there. It's got skinny little legs. For an awfully big dragon. Or whatever it is, because it doesn't really look like a dragon. It just looks like a critter. I am going to grab a little bit more of something I consider to be fairly decent colors. I'm just pulling up, and if I need to add a 
a little more I will maybe even dip my skewer in so I don't get too much. Alright, it's not great, but it's still kind of cool. Whoops, and I just annihilated something I liked. In an attempt to provide a neck, That's better. It's not perfect. But it's better. And that was a long 20 minutes. Actually only 17. Not my most successful attempt, but uh, still, I'm learning. Like his bearded tendrils. And there you have it, whatever it is. I hope that uh, the white calms down. There's not much I can do about this. Maybe he's drooling. <laughs> I think if I tap my spatula into some paint and then nudge it around, I can get a few places that aren't as covered as I'd like them to be. I might be able to cover some of that tomorrow. Anyway, white wouldn't have been my first choice, but I had to try it once. I love you guys. There's over 90,000 of you. Welcome if you're a new subscriber. If you watch the videos longer, you help me out. Your comments are very, very kind, and I appreciate them. They lift my spirits and my morale pretty consistently. I lost my whole eye there. Come on out. It'll be what it'll be. <laughs> I have over 1,500 videos, and you can find them on my created playlists on my YouTube channel. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I will see you anon. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying check the link tree under the video, check my email address underneath the link tree, check the Teespring under the video, it's got all of our print leggings and t-shirts, Christmas is coming, Facebook groups are on the link tree, my website is on the link tree, Sachi Art is on the link tree if you happen to be in Great Britain or Europe, uh, there's not a lot there. If you guys ever have a question please feel free to ask me, look for my paint pouring recipe underneath the video and uh, underneath the description. And look for the exhibition video on the end screens in any given month to find out what that month's prizes are. If you are somebody who's contributing to help keep the studio running through PayPal or Patreon. I really appreciate that. And I appreciate you guys making all the donations you have to keep me painting all this time. I think I said take care of each other and take care of yourselves. It's a strange one, but it's kind of cool too. And I'm going to be touching up my edges. And we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Bye for now. Priscilla out.